Hi, this is Ronnie, and this is How to Kill a Kit with Style, August 2019. And I'm going to scrapbook that picture right there of my grandson. He's on a boat, so I thought for sure one of those stickers would work, but no, I do not use any of them. And of course, those pineapples are not going to work. I'm down to the end. Yeah, these are most of my scraps. I do have a couple of more that's down in the bottom of that Ikea thing, and I will find them when I go to do my... Uh, layout share thingy and what I have as leftovers and I will use them because there will be a challenge in the secret not secret kit club to use stuff on your messy desk and thank goodness those scraps were there from the video uh, this piece here I gutted from another piece so the edges are you know kind of off because I use my utility knife well craft knife craft knife and cut it out so I am just straightening, straightening the edges up on it. And I'm going to back it with some red. So I will be getting the red. And I will back the picture in the same red. So yeah, I'll be getting that too. But I will cut all that out so you won't have to watch all that. Yeah, same old stuff. Trying to save some paper. And I don't have a whole lot left of the red. Uh, when I, by the time I get done with this layout, I'll have used most of what I had. And I think I end up even finding a piece to uh, use on my next layout. But I really liked pulling the reds in this kit because there is a lot of pink. And so mostly I pulled the reds and the greens out of it. Um, and I did pull some teal. Uh, well, teal or if you want to call it aquamarine maybe on some of it. But there is quite a bit of green and red in here. So those were easy to pull out. And uh, I pulled that piece out there and I'm going to use my Fisker's uh, um, border punch and it's a scallop border and I'm going to put it alongside that striped paper and bring out some more red in the layout. There really isn't much red at all in the striped paper and there are red uh, plus signs in that other paper so I'm trying to pull what red's in there out. And I will layer the striped paper over the edge of that. I won't, it won't be that wide, the scallop, when I get done. Oh, and here, this had fell in the floor. And I had noticed it, picked it up, and I started to throw it away. And I thought, well, there's some straight parts on there. Maybe I'll need it. <laughs> I am at the end of this uh, kit. I might need those, yeah. So I didn't actually throw it away. I just laid it to the side. And you've seen how rough it was, but there was a couple of pieces that I could use and did use on this layout. And I'm making sure the scallop is straight, and I'm going to make sure the stripe is too. And you can see the scallop does not go all the way to the end. And uh, you will see me trim in a minute. Oh, I noticed when I moved that around that it don't go all the way to the end there either. And I wanted to make sure all of it went, you know, short at one end and long at the other or whatever so that uh, I wouldn't have to trim both ends but I'll trim it and then I'll have to end up patching the end down there because I decide I don't want to trim it again and so I just add a little piece of red cardstock down there at the bottom because I figure by the time it's in the page protector and it's going to be down there at the bottom of the page nobody will ever notice it's there anyway I put those little trim pieces right there because I knew that uh this would cover up everything but that little bit. And um, I'm just going to put my picture on the top to the right hand side of that. Oh, here's where I trim that off. And if I look close enough, I would have seen it did not go all the way to the end. Oh, well, maybe I'll notice it next time. Keep your fingers crossed. Uh, I am going to pull out a viewfinder in a little bit and put it on here because once I start my site title in just a minute, I'll decide I don't really like it that way. I would start putting it straight on the white paper and it just seemed to get lost there. Sometimes I like it. I don't necessarily have to have something to set my title on, but these are such low profile ones that I really wanted something else to set it on. And they do look like they get lost a little bit on the viewfinder. But in real life, they don't. the title does show up pretty good. So they don't get too lost on there. 
I'm going to use that viewfinder, and I'm pretty sure that's from my favorite things. I got it a long time ago. It's been quite a while. But, uh, and, I, and I store my uh, little dies on um, magnetic sheets now. So I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's where it came from. But I do not even know if they still sell it, but I really like it. And here I am looking something, and I'm looking for something. I looked for a while. I cut that out. I looked for a couple of minutes. I do not know what I was looking for. But, uh, yeah, I cut that out so you all didn't have to watch me hunt in vain for whatever it was I was hunting for. But I put red behind here so that uh, the little viewfinder picture things wouldn't, wouldn't be empty. And sometimes I put pictures behind there. Yeah, I'll do like a scenery picture, like if it's got uh, treetops. I'd cut a, uh, cut little pieces all the way across the treetops and put them behind there. And it looked like treetops with the sky behind there. It was enough that you could tell by looking in there. So if you have a viewfinder, that's a thought that you can do that. And sometimes I put colored paper, pattern paper, different things behind there. So there is some options there. And here I'm deciding how far up to put that because I got to have room for all three lines. And now I'm making an exclamation point. And these are not sticky. They're very hard to pick up because of being so low profile. But they are not sticky. So I had to put glue behind each one of them. And they're from Amy Tan, I believe, is what line they were for. The, what collection that they went with. But... Yeah, I like them with this kit this month. I thought they're real, uh, really cute alphas. And I am going to find a die cut. One die cut <laughs> that is going to work. Oh, no. One sticker, one die cut. Sorry. I stand corrected. And the sticker says, son, here we come. And it is a speech bubble, but I cover up the bottom part of it. So now you can't tell it's a speech bubble. And uh, I will look at the chipboard. But the die cut that I end up using is going to come out of the ephemera. And it's going to say Epic Waves. And that's all I'm going to, I'm going to use. Those two things. Uh, I am going to cut this apart. And I'm going to make it into a banner. All uh, I was looking at it and I was thinking all those different colors. That if I cut it apart... And cut them into little banners for um, like a banner that hung across with twine. Yeah, that's that's the kind I'm going for. Sometimes I just put them on the layout coming out from the outer edge of the layout in. But this time they're going to hang on the twine. And I'm going to have them go all the way across the bottom of the page. And my thinking while this is happening, <laughs> while I'm making this, is like at a boat race show or something. They have all those banners blowing in the wind. And yeah, I was thinking that when I was doing this, that it would be like banners blowing in the wind at a boat race. Of course, I've never been to a boat race, so this is like something that's in my head, probably from some TV show. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, go with it, please. <laughs> I am going around the edge of this uh, with my um, smash pen and I doodling, you know, and I don't care if it's really straight or not. I just like the doodling part. And here I notice that that does not go all the way to the end. So instead of cutting more off the bottom of my layout, I decided to just patch it and put some red cardstock there. I figure it'll be at the bottom of the layout and it's just a very small amount and probably nobody will notice it anyway. Uh, yeah, that, that's my thought. And here I'm going ahead and going around all the little banners and I only went once around the outside where I usually go at least twice because I only wanted to go once around the banners and I wanted it to match. So once around each one. And I'm going to lay these out the way I want them. And then I'm going to put the twine and pick them up one at a time and glue them down. Because, well, I can't think of any other way to do it. And it'd probably come out right. <laughs> so that's my thought. But that green one on the far right, 
I'm going to have to end up cutting it down because somewhere along the way while I'm gluing all of it down, it ends up too wide for that area. And I did think about cutting the edge off, but then I thought, no, I think I'll just trim it down and make it look like it was a narrow one to start with. And so, yeah, that's what I end up doing. But yeah, here I'm putting glue on the layout and then I'm put my twine on the layout. Oh, I put a knot in there because I would, instead of it going around the side of the paper and me put uh, gluing it down on the other side, I decided I wanted it hanging on the layout. But yeah, I put glue on the paper and put the twine on it. And then I go ahead and put some glue on my banner and then put it right on top of it and glue the whole thing down. And here I am putting the knot on the other end and you'll see where it's cut there Well, I found a knot in it. And I guess I wasn't thinking straight because I could have just went right over the top of that knot. But no, I cut the twine <laughs> and uh, cover it up there. Of course, I, I wasn't thinking, uh, you know, but watching myself now, you know, I'm thinking, why didn't I do that? But yeah, I had to cut it down a couple of times to get it small enough here. And I could have cut the edge off, yeah. But no, I decided I just want to lay it on there and just make it fit. And I will bring the edge of that back around and glue it down so that I can slide it in the page protector. And it'll still be on the front and not on the back. And I'm going to do that with the other one too. But I do like how it turned out and... All the different colors that are in the thing and there's that um, strip that I found that was from Ellie's studio and it says this is what summer days are made of and so yeah I thought it's perfect for well everything that I actually did in this kit because it all is summer best summer ever by Echo Park and I'm gonna put um, Tim Holtz staple on each end it's just barely big enough for that but I wanted the staples in there so it looked like I stapled it on instead of gluing it on. And there's that one die cut that I decided to go ahead and use. And it says Epic Waves. And I did think about backing it with red. But then I thought, no, it looks like it shows up pretty good without it. So I did not back it in red. And see here, this is where I'm gluing it down instead of actually stapling it. And... The last thing I'm going to do is put wood veneers on there. I put these wood veneers in my kit so I'd be sure and use them because I forget out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, I mean, I have them handy. They're right there underneath my desk in a container. And all I have to do is just reach under there and pull them out. I've got several uh, tray, plastic tray things lined up there. And the wood veneer is one of them. But do I think about doing it? No, but I put it in my kit so I'd be sure and remember. Anyway, I'm putting all these stars down and I'm putting the lighter side up, down. And then I thought, no, I think I want the darker side. You know, the side that looks like it's burnt a little bit. Yeah, so I have to go through and turn them all over. And then I'm going to go through and glue them all down. But I'm not going to make you watch that. I am going to cut that out so you do not have to watch it. Because you all know how to glue wood veneers down. Oh, I said I needed one more here. So yeah, I pulled out one more and put it on there. But that's my layout. Uh, be sure to check everybody else's links below that does How to Kill a Kid every month. You'll get lots and lots of inspiration from all those ladies. And if you leave a comment, I'll be sure to respond. Because I love the interaction in the YouTube video comment section. If you like my video, please hit a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I'd love it for you to subscribe to my channel. Anyway, thank you all so very, very much for watching. And like I said, there'll be one more video today. Yeah. Uh, for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. And using this kit and the bare minimum scraps. Thanks for watching. Have a happy scrappy week. Bye.